Well, I've been watching the show The Flash for some time now, really since the beginning. You know, it's kind of a, you know, it's, a, well, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> but, I mean, at least it was good entertainment and clever in a way for a while. But now it's just gotten progressively worse. And uh, with this latest episode of Flash vs. Zoom, I mean, come on. Oh, he's just going to give Zoom all of his speed and have no speed himself in order and trust that it's going to work out all right by giving this guy who has done everything that would lead you to believe that uh, you shouldn't trust him enough to even trust him to keep the bargain, you know, of giving back Wally. Wally West, and then going on his way with his speed. And why? As someone else pointed out, you know, Zoom was basically dying anyway. He was had a disease, and if you had just left everything alone for long enough, you know, the whole thing would have sorted itself out. <laughs> well, I guess sorted itself out that way, in a way, I mean as terrible as it may seem, but you know, Zoom is the bad guy and they've made him out to be the bad guy with really very little in redeeming qualities in fact it's hard to like some of the people that are supposed to be the good guys like Harrison Wells is supposed to now be a good guy but I mean he has very few redeeming qualities too that make you want to care about the characters and so you know anyone could have seen that coming gonna give them your speed really that is a plot line that should have never they should have not gone down that road and so basically these writers suck if I watch the show ever again it's only gonna be to critique how stupid it is